Thank you very much, Rich. In a little less than half an hour from now, divers and drones will be underwater and flying above near the Hart Bridge, inspecting it for damage as a routine inspection that happens every two years. Yeah, today's inspection comes less than two weeks after a damaged finger joint closed the Buckman Bridge for nearly eight hours. You probably saw the coverage here on News for Jacks. Now, News for Jacks reporter Jennifer Reddy tells us today's inspection is not in response to that closure. It is routine. This is a routine inspection. FDOT says they do it about every two years from top to bottom to make sure the bridge is in good condition. A spokesperson compared it to going to the doctor for a physical every few years. Every day, thousands of drivers pass over the Hart Bridge. It's an iconic piece of infrastructure for our city. And we want to make sure that the bridge is around for a really long time. Hampton Ray is with the Florida Department of Transportation. The agency is conducting a routine inspection on the decades old bridge. Well, these are specialized engineers. Their whole job, they've dedicated their entire jobs to looking at the nooks and crannies of infrastructure. Today, crews will focus on the structure underwater. We have folks that are going to be in the water to look at the, the piers that actually stick into the mud um, and making sure that uh, you know, we get that. It's got to be reviewed within two feet uh, from the eye. Uh, so this is a this is an intense um, you know, physical for the bridge. Over the weekend, engineers focused on the deck of the bridge. Ross Hammock is an engineer with FDOT. Well, uh, rest assured that this is what we do. Uh, we do it every two years as a routine inspection to make sure that the bridge stays safe and uh, people can, can travel over it safely. Um, and if anything was found, we, we make repairs, whether it's you know, minor to hopefully you know, not severe, but if something severe is found, we would shut it down, make that repair, and would not open it back up till it was safe. Engineers say this inspection can take up to four weeks. And during this routine inspection, officials say the bridge is safe to travel on. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.